Hi, I'm Julian Doherty, president and founder of DFS Marketing. DFS Marketing, we're an insurance marketing organization and we wholesale fixed index annuities for some of the largest insurance companies in the world. My clients are independent financial professionals that sell fixed index annuities and life insurance to baby boomers and seniors in their community. Today here in our headquarters in Houston, we're having our two comma club meeting. Two comma club is a meeting of million dollar or more fixed annuity producers. We come together, we talk about the services that DFS Marketing offers, how we can help them see more people, build their business, and then ultimately bring technology to the forefront of their practice. Today I've got Jeff with me. Jeff, thank you for attending our meeting. Thank, thank you, for you Julian, for having me. Yes, thank you for your time. And Jeff is came to our meeting, wanted to understand a little bit more, a little bit more fluent about the services that DFS offers. And Jeff, when I'm doing these videos, I want to be able to convey something very educational, but also entertaining. And I get a lot, when should I talk about a Roth IRA. How does a Roth IRA work? When should I present a Roth IRA? I have my ways of doing it, but why not talk to a, have you as a seasoned financial professional who has done this many, many times, or at least talked about it many, many times. When do you think it's appropriate to talk about a Roth IRA with a client? Well, Julian, you know, I think it's always uh, helpful to tell stories and give examples. And so one of the things I always talk about with clients when we're thinking about Roth IRAs, where we're crafting one from the beginning or we're thinking about doing one uh, as a conversion, is to imagine yourself if you were a farmer. If you were a farmer, would you rather pay tax on the seed that you plant or the harvest that you might enjoy eventually? For most people, they would say, I'd rather pay tax on the seed yes. rather than the harvest. Yes. And so that example really is a good analogy for the Roth IRA because you it is not tax deductible in the current year, so you're paying tax on the seed. However, the good news is, is when the, come, the harvest comes back to you in retirement time, then it's coming back to you tax-free. If we're talking about doing a Roth conversion, converting from an IRA to a Roth, you're gonna kinda of hit it somewhere in the middle. You've, you've gotten some tax free or, or tax deferral Deferred, yeah. on, the, on at least part of the seed. When you do a conversion, you're gonna pay tax on a portion of the harvest, but the remainder of the harvest will eventually come, flow back to you on a tax-free basis. And very so, good, very good analogy, very good example. I hope the people that are watching this, when it does come down to discussing a Roth IRA with a client, I have some agents that I work with that that is what they talk about on every single sale, every single presentation, because they believe that taxes are gonna significantly increase in the future. Why not pay taxes on your tax deferred money now and then allow that money to grow into the future tax free for you and for your beneficiaries. I love the Roth IRA. I myself was able to take a large sum of 401k qualified money from the previous company I'd worked for. I had converted to a Roth IRA. I thought I could take the money out of the actual qualified funds to pay the IRS, but no, I got a separate bill from the IRS. I looked at it, I, was, I mean, that was a big bill big, big, for the amount of chunk, money. Yep. But I'm so glad the IRS allowed me to make a payment plan. I'm not a tax advisor, this is not tax advice, but I was able to make a payment plan, got that bill paid off. Now that money has grown over 10 years, doubled in a fixed annuity, fixed index annuity, and I'm gonna let that thing continue to roll until I'm 59 and a half and then enjoy the seeds of that tax-free money. Well, and the added benefit of that is that you're a successful person and you won't be forced to take the money. And so it can continue to grow and, and grow beyond what a normal 401k or IRA would be allowed to because there's no forced minimum required distribution. That's great. I was going to ask you, so what do you mean by forced? And, you know, on qualified money, the IRS forces you to take a distribution out of that because you have deferred it out till 70 and a half. And with Roth IRAs, you pay the taxes on it. You don't have to 
you know, require, you're not required to take that distribution from the account. That's the beauty of Roth IRAs. Thank you for helping us understand that and get that story out, that analogy. It was great. Thank you for coming out and Thank working you, with us. You know, I appreciate the, the business. We look forward to working with you in the near future and, and, and way beyond. And remember, DFS Marketing, we can help you build your business, make more money, and deliver better service to your clients. Subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest updates on the fixed index annuity world and how DFS can help you with your business.